Okay, fallen tree. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you found a tree? It's ah. a big one. Holy moly. So you know what I realized that uh, almost every single video is starting here in this car and today it's not a difference as you can see from uh, oh, well you can not really see it but uh, it's raining like hell hopefully in the mountains it's snowing but uh, yeah it's close to Christmas so today we are going to pick up our Christmas tree hi hi some coffee oh it's already blue <laughs> It shouldn't be blue? No, it was kind of yellow. Okay, so uh, you need a new one. So, Henya, so. uh, tell us something about this. Uh. I went to the Christmas party and I jumped into the pool for 100 bucks. Totally worth it. And here's my finally dry cloth. My friend, she was drying them for me because I don't have dry in my apartment. Sucks. So, that's, I think that's the whole story. You see? Just behind the corner of Vancouver and suddenly snow. These plows are amazing here in Canada. I saw some pictures and videos how they are six, no, no six, maybe four next to each other. Uh, a little bit behind, I don't know how to explain it, but they are just making some kind of arrow and one is pushing the snow to, to the other plow, the other plow is pushing it to the third one and the fourth one is pushing everything to the to the side, to the ditch. Extremely interesting and uh, amazing how they can handle uh, really rough situations with the snow here in Canada. Just to, bell, just to be bells. here and, and chill. That's it. Weather outside is frightful. Guys, I, I I experienced in uh, in Slovakia uh, plenty of snow on road, and I thought when I will move here in, into Canada that I will see like the the best drivers and like the best management on roads, and uh, the the truth is the opposite. <laughs> like sometimes in downtown it snows maybe five centimeters of snow, and the entire transit is collapsed. Uh, uh, buses are crossed on the intersections, uh, people just leaving cars in the middle of road because they are on summer tires because usually there is only a couple of days where you see snow in downtown so people basically don't care to change the tire. Anyway, uh, we are almost in Squamish. So now we know the reason what's happening. Actually, we don't know yet, but uh, we are gonna see it uh, in a second. In a second, we are gonna see what the happened. Road. Thanks. Road to destruction. This dude. Hey, dude. Okay. Fire truck. Okay, fallen tree. Hmm. Still on the road, take a look. No car is moving on the other side. Slowly we are stopping and going, stopping and going. Everything is crazy here. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! I wanna play Christmas songs, but he said no. No Christmas songs. It's too early for Christmas songs. Christmas songs are maybe for one hour allowed at the Christmas Eve. No, no, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Show the situation on the road. What we can learn from this, always, always check the uh, road situations before you jump into your car and want to go somewhere because uh, this is gonna end up in tears. I want, I want to go home already. I thought that we are gonna be already on the on the way home. <laughs> so here's there's a leg on the side, we can jump into the water if you guys give me 100 bucks for that. Yeah. Uh, Give us a hundred bucks and the next video will be how Henya is gonna jump into uh, a snow-covered uh, lake. 
I'm on it, guys. I'm on it. I'm telling you. Stay tuned. I have no idea what's gonna be next, but the future is promising. And now we are finally on the road to uh, our destination. Which is nothing. Take a look, it's like in a fairy tale. But you know what guys, I think this is the end of our road for uh, for us because unfortunately I don't know what's the situation with the... Actually the road is pretty good still. Woohoo! I get the Christmas tree! Christmas tree. You know what's fun, it's back to second to two-wheel drive. It's way more fun. Promising so far the road is beautiful. It's exactly exactly how actually I want it To, to my friend Jacob who is uh, uh, saying to every video of rally cars that they are going so slow in uh, uh, in snow uh, so this is gonna be absolutely it's gonna be boring in uh, in video because it's we are going only 50 or 60 but uh, it's fun Some guys were stuck, but they have, they have fortunately the winch. Oh, but take a look, like in Vancouver, Vancouver is like, what, 70 kilometers away from here? And it dumped extremely big amount of snow here, it's crazy. Uh, some car is uh, in front of us, I don't know if you can see it, but it was fun until now, but I think this is a hill climb and that guy is obviously stuck there. It's fun until you are not stuck, right? Oh yeah 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 he needs to he needs to reverse. And this is I think the end of our story. That was my greatest thrill, 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 thrill. Evidence when you have wheel spin you are losing the traction and now I am going way slower than before without barely touching the gas pedal pedal and we are here. So that was the hill, that was the hill climb what I was mostly afraid and I think we are the the, the first or maybe the second uh, car which came here because I see only the tracks from the ski doos and, and yeah. Sled tracks, sled tracks. <laughs> Because I think another thing is that we are a little bit higher, so the snow is a little bit uh, uh, lighter, powder, 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 <laughs> a retarder. Woo! <laughs> Never disappoints. Take a look how 
sexy looks this car here. Beautiful. Nice. Winter edition La Sportiva shoes. Kinda cheap. I was feeling in the bones on the way here that it's not gonna be just a boring choosing a tree and going home. A little bit of a spice, you know? In this case, it's uh, a little bit of a cocaine. <laughs> Take a look on this babushka. Babushka is following me like a hungry wolf. <laughs> Which one? That one over there, no problem. I feel like uh, Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 2 in the first missions. Oh my gosh. Lenny! Ah. Ah. You will have probably some questions, so I have some uh, simply answer. You need a permit here in BC for cutting Christmas trees. Everything here is uh, uh, well described, where you can, where you can't uh, cut the Christmas tree. Simply, you just need to print it. It's for free. I have it with you. Uh, let's continue in the video. See ya. And now, the fun part. Bring it back to the car. <laughs> I'm coming. We are, I don't care. These are our tracks. Okay, so uh, our baby is here. And uh, we are going home. I know some such things. Here we go. Easy. Easy. That's why you should go Buddy. with someone or uh, you have you have to know your limits. No. Hi doggy. You see, tons of guys having fun today. At least this guy knows what he's doing and uh, he's using the right tools. Oh yeah, that's impressively deep hole. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's like from a tractor. Oh yeah. So this girl in the in the in the red Ford told us that there is uh, like since we were up, she told us that there was happening so much stuff down further further down. Some some tree fell. And these guys helped on other cars. This is the tree. It's wow. a big one. Holy moly, showly boly. What the hell? Okay, so as you can see, we are back on the road. The road is uh, in a little bit better condition than before. And uh, yeah, we had lots of fun. I had no idea that it's gonna be gonna be so adventurous. Exactly. See so you at home. How we are gonna be unpacking our our uh, present, our tree. So we are here from our beautiful Christmas trip and uh, everything what we need to do is the most annoying part to move this monster up to our apartment. And then we will see the beautiful transition from, uh, from nature to Christmas uh, spirit. Uh, sp you everyone know what I mean. Mm. 
here we go. Chemistry master plan is uh, step one, stupid enough to, to go somewhere and find a tree. Two, have a proper car. And number three, get to the location. Four, find the proper tree. Number five, bring it home. Number six, fine tuning because it's too tall. Number seven is basically made your own uh, custom stand or buy one. Number eight, uh, Christmas tree is standing. We, we can screw it to the stand. I need to cut a little bit more because uh, we are usually putting a bowl with water underneath to have it longer fresh. Some fine tuning again. So we are going back to step seven. So uh, back to the step eight after fine, fine tuning. Step nine is uh, right here. Almost final product. So a conclusion, if you wanna uh, save money to not buy a tree on a market, you are definitely not gonna save if you wanna go and drive somewhere and, uh, and find a tree and then cut it. So time-wise and money-wise, it's definitely not worth. But on the other side, it depends on, on you, how you, how you see it, because the adventure what we had today is definitely over the top then to go somewhere and wait in a line and pick up a tree and and, and buy it for i don't know how many bucks so uh that's it i'm ending this video here and you are gonna see uh later on the final product and bye